Hello and welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel and another day of triathlon training. I'm half laughing because I'm so tired. I'm on this DIY training camp roughly a week in now and I'm feeling it. So I'm not sure what order these videos are going to go out in. I'm running down quite a steep hill by the way. Um, but yesterday, in real life, I did an eight and a half hour gravel ride, like time on the paddles. You can't ride a bike for many more hours than that in a day. So I'm feeling it. But running is an area where I really need to work on, like really. So I can't afford to miss what is the staple of run training, the, you know, the weekly long run. So that is this morning. Now, I normally pick this camera up and I talk about what I'm going to do, and then I do it most of the time. Or I have to come up with some excuses to why I didn't. I've waited until I'm like three and a half, four miles in today. So I know I'm halfway around the route, so I can say it's gonna be at least eight miles today because I'm really playing it by ear. I know it might sound cool to be like, oh, I'm so tired, I'm still gonna do this. But if it hurts too much, I'm not silly, I will stop. So before this run, I've had a really good night's sleep. Two nights before that, I've been really struggling at night. I've had a tickly cough and that has just been awful. Like, I've been up for you know, a couple of hours at a time each night. Whereas last night, the first night I had a proper night's sleep. So I didn't set an alarm, woke up at nine o'clock. And that sleep is so important. I feel, I'm not gonna say brand new, but I feel like 80% better than I did yesterday evening. I was an absolute shell. I had bloodshot eyes. Like I was struggling walking around the bedroom. It was, <laughs> it was not good. But this morning, I'm out running. So sleep is magic. Now, I didn't have any um, breakfast, just for digestion reasons. But I did have a packet of um, like carb chews, like power bar, like cola, caffeine things. It's about 50 grams of carbs. And I've just had a gel that's got 30 grams of carbs in. And this has got carb mix in. So I'm really fueling today, like I would be if it was an event or if it was a tougher session, because I know that my body is gonna be depleted from yesterday, even though I ate and drank loads last night. Like I burnt something like six and a half thousand calories. So you just can't physically replace that. I'll give it a good go. So anyway, um, I'm actually feeling not too bad running. I feel tired, but my legs are feeling all right. So I'm not really looking at the pace. That was 8.57, that fourth mile just popped up. And that's fine, around nine minute mile in. It's absolutely fine, I just need to keep the effort down. You can tell I'm you know, still breathing fairly heavy. Heart rate's quite low still, but yeah, so let's get this long run done, pushing through when it's hard. This could be my biggest ever training week in the UK. Could be, but we'll see what happens today and tomorrow. Whew. We'll get a bit more of this done now. See you a bit further around. Oh, run done and dusted. I'll tell you what are really good. These folding bottles, because as you work your way through it, it becomes like almost nothing. I'm used to carrying a camera when we're running. So this is like nothing, it's brilliant. 250 mil, I could probably do with two of those as it's getting warmer and doesn't go in a bit longer, but I'll figure that out in the next coming weeks. 10.25 miles, just under eight minute mile in, just over an hour and a half. That could have gone so much worse. That could have been an absolute disaster. But I think it's a combination of fueling, recovery, and just feeling good, like the weather's good. I feel like I'm shaking this illness, you know, I feel like it's positive and I'm also, you know, grateful to be able to get out and exercise and stuff. I know there are a few triathletes who are either injured or suffering from illness at the minute who would love to be out here. So yeah, I just feel a bit like, I don't know, a bit wholesome, I suppose. Whatever, Daniel, you're obviously a bit delirious, shut up. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna get home and have some breakfast now. And I'll see you later on. I might do a little spin. I'm gonna play it by ear, play it by legs, basically. And let's see what Liz is doing. When I left, she had her dad round bossing him around the back garden, so we'll see what he's been doing. <laughs> okay, good evening. Good evening, Rupert. You okay? Good evening, Elizabeth. Okay. Are you okay? Hi, yes, thank you. You nearly said a you then, didn't you? Forgetting that we've been in the same house all day together, we live <laughs> together. I feel like you've run, oh my God. <laughs> Liz, when I left this morning to go for my run, yeah. you were bossing your dad around the back garden. <laughs> what has he uh, been I wasn't doing? I bossing him, but... Um, so he's been this morning and he's put up my new outdoor clock. If you ever need to know what the time is in this garden, you're in luck. Or the temperature. And he's put <laughs> up the two planters for me on the wall because I've put my strawberry plants in them. Doing holes in the house, fantastic. To keep out of reach of chickens. Because I used to have to have them on the front garden, but they don't yeah. grow as well on the front garden. I'm not sure that's out of reach of chickens. It will be. <laughs> mm, we'll see. And then I've been really busy all day doing loads of gardening. I've put some new plants in my planter. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, they'll be eating by the chickens yeah. as well. Yeah, well that's why I've got this temporary fence up so they didn't interfere with me. Yeah. And I've put some plants on the front. Wicked. Right. A bit of I'm just gonna, let, just gonna let the cat through here, she wants to come through here. Come on then. Okay, no it doesn't, it's just a joke. Yeah. Right, let's do this Cool, one. right, and what we also did was, Liz locked this little garden storage thing at the, at the end of summer last year. The lock seized. And today it was my job to unseize it, so I just yeah, cut the lock, lock open. But we moved it off of the ground it's on, because it's on this obviously soil, so the grass died. And then dug it up a little bit, didn't we? It was like chicken heaven, worms, grubs, those sorts of things, wasn't there? They've had a great time. They've had a great time in there digging around, yeah, good stuff. Okay, so I think that is it. We oh, we've just had a nap, haven't we? Really Nearly, good nap. It was like the best nap we've had in ages. Nearly two, well, about two hours ago, wasn't it? Definitely, I've got a bit of hay fever. <laughs> best place to be there in the garden, this. So yeah, good day. I'm really happy I've done that. Obviously no ride, but I'm going to get out on the bike tomorrow morning. So I'm going to end today's video there. Right, Those lot absolutely lost. Come. All right, I've got my end on the GoPro. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock for, it's probably the gravel bike video that's going out tomorrow to be honest. And then after that, some more training. Yeah, <laughs> see you there.